Okay, let's discuss some details about RIP version 2 routing protocol. First of all, RIP version 2 uses multicast addressing to transmit its routing updates to the neighbors. It uses 224.0.0.9 this multicast address to send its routing updates to the neighbors. We already know that usually routing protocols they use this kind of multicast address starting with 224. For example, uh, 224.0.0.9 is used by EIGRP and dot five is used by OSPF. Dot six is also used by OSPF for DR and DR others. So this is the multicast addressing. While we just discussed that RIP one does not use multicast it uses broadcast which is 255255 the normal uh, broadcast address 255 255 255 this kind of broadcast addressing this is also one of the difference between rip1 and rip2 okay after that there are two types of messages which are sent or which are used by RIP2. One is called as request and the other one is called as response. These are two types of messages or routing messages which are sent to its neighbors by any RIP2 enabled router. So this is a message which is sent by a router to another asking to send back the whole or some portions of the routing table. So it might ask that please send me your full routing table. I need to update I am a new router or I just need the increment I just need the these portions of the routing table and in response it sends the routing updates either full or partial so this is called as types of messages of RIP2 routing protocol two types request and response so let me ask you a quick question how many types of messages does OSPF has so please write your answer in the comments okay so rip2 packet format and which type of packet or format does it use to send these two types of messages requests and responses this kind of packet format so it has command version some buffers afi address family identifier the actual ip address and the subnet mask and next hop and the metric that how to reach to that IP address which subnet mask to use which next hop to use so you might have seen that when we do show IP route then all these information is queried actually so this is transmitted through these kind of packets you can refer to my lecture my uh, lesson which I made the video I made about Wireshark in which I showed you these packets in detail that what kind of information is carried inside each type of these routing updates or packets like rip sends how it sends these kind of fields ospf how does it send those five types of messages as well so this is some information about the multicast addressing message types and packet format in the next video we will discuss about the timers and the loop avoidance techniques